In this lesson, I'll show you how to use Fleury's algorithm to identify an Euler path or Euler circuit. Afterwards, we'll go through an example showing you how to implement it. So with that being said, the algorithm states that if the graph has exactly two odd vertices, choose one of the two odd vertices as the starting point. If the graph has no odd vertices, choose any vertex as the starting point. Now in case you're confused about what I mean by vertice, take for example this graph. Each of these points represents a vertex. So if the amount of bridges that link to a vertex is even, then we call that an even vertex. So take for example E, we have one, two bridges connected to E. So this would have a degree of two and it would be even. If you go through each of these vertices, you'll notice that none of them are odd. So, when doing this example, we can start anywhere. The second part of his algorithm states, to number the edges as you trace through the graph according to the following rules. So after you have traveled over an edge, erase it, and by the way, these lines are called edges. Show the erased edge as a dashed line. When faced with a choice of edges to trace, first choose any edge that is not a bridge. A bridge is an edge whose removal would make the graph disconnected. The question asks, the figure has at least one Euler circuit. Use Fleury's algorithm to find an Euler circuit. So we can start anywhere because all of these are even. And in case you're still confused by that idea, vertex E has two edges. So this is even with a degree of two. C has one, two, three, four, even degree of four. A has 1, 2, D has 1, 2, 3, 4, F has 1, 2, 3, 4, and you get the idea. So we can start anywhere. Let's begin at F. If we start at F, I can make my way down to C, and as I make my way down to C, I'll make this dashed. I like to write my sequence as I go along, so I went from F to C, Let's go from C to E next, and I'll put a dashed line there so that I don't retrace that edge. E back to F. And make sure that at the very end, you return back to where you started from. That's what makes this an Euler circuit. So just be mindful of that. F to D, that's next. And there are multiple solutions, countless solutions here. So this is just one version. D to C, C to A, A to D, D to B, and notice that by going from B back to F, we're back to where we started from completing the circuit. So as you can tell, Fleury's algorithm is simply a procedure to finding out the sequence of an Euler circuit or Euler path. That's all it is. And so there you have it. That is how to implement Fleury's algorithm.